What's up guys, finally the most awaited update Android Lollipop 5.0.2 lands on the Moto E. So without wasting time, let's get into it. A new feature for the notifications, this is the ambient display in your lock screen to give a quick glance on your notifications. So now you can directly see the notifications on your lock screen. You don't really have to unlock the device and pull out the status bar to see your notifications. So that's a pretty great feature added to the Lollipop update. You can expand them, erase them and directly open the app from which the notifications are, have been viewed. And coming to the status bar, this is how the status bar looks like in the notification area. Pulling it once again, you get the toggles and at the top you have the brightness slider. Now we also get the auto rotating screen toggle, which we didn't have in the 4.4.4 KitKat update. So that is pretty unique. Now let's get back to the lock screen again. Sliding from left to right, you can directly swipe them up. And again, from left to right on empty space, you directly get access to the phone dialer. And again, in the lock screen, so swiping from right to left, you get direct access to the camera. No big updates to the app inside the phone, actually. But yeah, the update is for providing you the material design for every app that you use. We also get the dynamic status bar for every app that we open. Now this is the card stack recents, a new type of recent apps that you're getting with the Android Lollipop. Pretty easy and quick accessible in my opinion. And let's check out the app drawer. As you can see, everything comes with an animation. So that is what we like in Android Lollipop. This is the basic concept of material design. The animation and nothing pops up from nowhere. So in settings, let's check out display and I had to show you this ambient display feature. This is the first thing which you saw at the starting of the video and that is how you access it. Now let's check out the storage. After installing, I got about 1.36 GB after installing a few apps. All right, cache data was also occupying space. We also have the feature of moving a few files from internal to the external storage so that that does not bug around with your internal storage as it is minimum already. Now in storage wise, it's again a big deal because in KitKat, we did not have the access to store OBB and other data to your external storage. But in Lollipop update also, we don't have that feature. Now this is a very bad news for heavy app users and gamers because they cannot store their files to the external storage and that occupies your internal storage. In security wise, we don't have any new add-ons. It's the same which you saw earlier in KitKat. And let's scroll down and let's check about phone. All right, that's 5.0.2 in Motorola Moto E. So this is the soap test that has been captured and not the official Android Lollipop OTA did yet released for the Moto E. But if you want a quick access, I will be providing a video based on that too, on how to get Lollipop before the official update comes out. So stay tuned with the channel. I'll be updating the links soon, maybe in a day or so. So do watch this and then go for that. Now, this is pretty good that they have also added quick search toggle inside settings, which you even find in Cyanogen Mod 11. Now we are also excited for Cyanogen Mod 12 and other custom ROMs coming out with this Android Lollipop concept. Now that was settings. Google now has also been updated to give new unique features like the Chrome has offered a good feature that the tabs which you find in the Chrome are now tabs on your recent apps. Didn't get what I said? We'll check this out now suppose the new tab is a facebook and then we open another tab with suppose reddit.com just a google search now we go to the tabs so this shows two different tabs of google chrome actually so everything has been included all together in one place making it a big clean deal 
Now this is a bug that even though you have no recent apps running, either one or the other irrelevant thing pops up in your recent apps. So let's check the phone dialer. Now since everything has been upgraded to material design, I'm pretty much loving it like how every app actually comes from an animation. So everything has an animation out there from attending a call, cutting a call, dialing a number, everything has an app and everything has a meaning. So in that case, this is a pretty beautiful update and you must definitely go for that. So even I wouldn't delay it. Uh, I'll provide you the tutorial as soon as possible. Now observe how fluid and smooth this ROM is. A few people also complain that this is buggy, but I don't find so. Now checking the battery, the battery performance so far has been doing really great and we also have this battery saver option in which I did find the battery to be saved considerably at a high rate which is really great this actually disables all the unwanted stuff that you don't need and actually occupies battery so at the time of low juice just activate this and forget about your battery it can last you at least for about an hour or so if you don't use it after activating the battery saver option. So that was it about the battery saver. And you also have this all clear button in the notification so you don't have to swipe every time. Now this new feature is called the heads up notification. So you can either swipe it left or right or tap it or even expand it to get directly to the notification notification or to the app from which these notifications are coming from sounds great now that recent app bug is vanished because i just now updated the google now launcher and google itself from play store so make sure that everything is updated and see how everything comes with a material design so that is obviously something which you would like and definitely go for it so that was it just watch how the material design goes and i'll talk to you guys in the next one maybe with another tutorial pretty soon in a day or so so that is it stay subscribed share this video if you liked it do like oh yes if you have any queries do feel free to leave it in the comments below and i'll get them answered so that was it see ya in my next video